Okay, let's do a little right-wing cope and then maybe some Chudipedia, conservapedia reading. And then we'll probably call it a day after we're done with all that. Um, let me see. <laughs> Minecraft is a video game based on information provided by the FBI. The government understands that it is common for persons discussing criminal activity online to refer to such activity as occurring in Minecraft to conceal the true nature of the activity. <laughs> Who would do that? Who would do that? <laughs> oh god. That was the loudest thing in existence. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Joe, B this is Donald Trump Jr. Joe Biden will never be as great as POTUS 45. <laughs> Sure, Donnie, whatever you say. Stop politicizing. Hashtag Texas shooting. 27 people have lost their lives. This is not about politics or skin color. This is about evil versus good. And here's an earlier tweet from the same gentleman. New York terrorist turns out to be a 29-year-old migrant from Uzbekistan who worked as an Uber driver. Time for extreme vetting. The right have no actual principles, okay? They are always arguing in bad faith. Never, ever believe the things they say because they don't believe them. BLM, how you doing? Let me tell you a little something. Chauvin case. Innocent, guilty. Man, I really don't give a flying fuck. But, uh, there's two different things. Look at this fucking LARPer. This is pathetic. I just... Why do these people think this is a personality? Things from last summer to this summer. Last summer there was an election. This summer there is not. Riot, steal, shoot, rob, kill. You do your thing. Because we're coming this time. Is he saying we didn't go out and murder a bunch of people because there was an election to be concerned about? Now that there isn't, we're gonna come and murder people in Minecraft. Arm up. Stay safe. <laughs> what a fucking loser. <laughs> Let me point my guns at the camera. I'm so cool. Woo! Dipshit. This person has a CD wrapped around their face as some sort of non-mask, and it says, Democrats, lies matter. I feel like they probably should have taken a take two on the placement of the letters for Democrats. It's not exactly even. And she probably has more CDs. Who uses CDs anymore? It's 2021. Get a Spotify account, for Christ's sake. <laughs> this person's Wi-Fi network is Donald Trump is your president. One of these other people should change their Wi-Fi to, uh, but Joe Biden is the president. <laughs> By the way, my pronouns are Apache helicopter slash AR-15 the one joke they did it they told the joke they told the one joke they have florida republicans vote to legally examine children's genitalia if they question gender florida republicans matt gates joke ha 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 also a lot of kids are going to get molested because of that bill so thanks everyone you're nailing it florida God, it's a fucking made up video. No, I'm not. It's not a racist spot. Yeah, it is. It actually really Why don't you actually 
Oh, no, it is a U.S. Confederate hybrid flag. Gotcha. And then this adult man called the kid the R-word. Gotcha. I thought it was just an American flag, and he was trying to make a point like, kids think the American flag is racist, which, eh, but <laughs> it's a Confederate flag, so I could believe this maybe happened. It's a TikTok, though, so could be fake. A lot of TikToks are fake. Jesus Christ. Wow. What a piece of shit. James O'Keefe got banned from Twitter, which is pretty good. Here's Marjorie Taylor Crean doing something. Max kicked me off of my committee. Oh yeah, she's filed to try and get Maxine Waters removed from Congress. <laughs> Remember when she filed articles of impeachment on Biden's first day? Because all she knows how to do is uh, be a drama queen. These Democrats kicked me off of my committees, and then also these Democrats introduced a resolution to expel me, and I have done absolutely nothing. Yeah, and they took you off your committees because you're a big piece of shit, conspiracy theorist. Nothing wrong. Well, you know what? Maxine Waters has, and she's been doing it for too long, going all the way back to 1992 out there inciting violence, inciting riots, inciting people to cause damage, hurt other innocent people, and cause chaos and break laws and, and just destroy our country. Maxine Waters is guilty of that, so she should be expelled, and so should Nancy Pelosi for backing her up. That is ridiculous. And then we're going to impeach Biden, and we need to fire Fauci. These <laughs> that was a lot of buzzwords. I almost feel like that would be uh, uh, Q bingo or something like that. Oh, no. Here's Milo Yiannopoulos talking about him being, quote, ex-gay now. He's pretending that he uh, has cured himself of the gay. Many people would be very offended by our saying that we don't believe God creates anyone gay. So what do mm. you say when somebody says, but I've always known that I was three years old and four years old. What do you say to those please, folks? Please, please give me a break. I mean, this is <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to. First of all, I think that more more gay people we'll just use the shorthand for the sake of you know more gay men gay men uh feel like there's something wrong buried in there than they will ever care to admit and culture is powerful culture is very powerful and if you tell people not only that this is who you are and what you are but it's an important part of your identity and if you send the messages as culture does in america today that there might even be something morally good about it I mean, we do seem to celebrate homosexuals as though there's something like intrinsically preferable about being gay. Not really. People just have changed the narrative from, oh, being gay is wrong or, or disgusting or stuff like that to recognizing that the LGBT community has faced uh, intense discrimination for the vast majority of United States history and a lot of world history in many places and recognizing that uh, in many ways, coming out is a relatively brave action to take because it can alienate you from a lot of people and make you the target of abuse. Um, so people being themselves is celebrated often, which is a good thing. Which is one of the most sick things that, that culture does in America. Um, one of the absolute worst things. One of the worst things in American culture is the acceptance of LGBT people, of which Milo was one. Um, sorry, I'm getting a thing about a shipment. Did I order something? What is this? It's 
It's probably a spam thing. Uh, of which Milo was a part of the group up until a couple months ago when he decided he wasn't making enough money and getting enough attention. Being the token gay Trump supporter. That it does. It suggests to people that these lifestyles that are guaranteed to drive, to, to, to suck you into misery, into drug taking, prostitution, uh, you know, into all these other dark aspects of gay life. And any gay person who tells you they have never been touched by pederasty, prostitution, drugs, um, uh, promiscuity, are, they are lying to you. That's a pretty broad list. I would imagine in some way or another, unfortunately, when you include uh, sexual assault of children, a lot of people in the United States would probably fall into that category, both straight and gay. Like... There's, there is a problem with pedophilia in the United States. It's not a conspiracy like the Q people think, but like, yeah, a lot of children get assaulted. It's awful. It has nothing to do with them being gay or bi or trans or whatever. No gay person on the planet who has had any kind of sex life whatsoever has not been touched by these things because one form of darkness attracts the others. Jesus Christ. Mike Lindell was just duped into thinking Trump was calling into the program. <laughs> Breaking news here with a guest. Hello? Hello, yes, I'm Mr. Trump on standby. Are you ready? Yes. I think Mike Lindell's probably so excited. I doubt Trump has reached out to him or talked to him since he left the presidency. <laughs> He's probably like, finally, Daddy Trump is paying attention to me. Go ahead, sir. Hello, everyone. Oh, we have the president here, our real president, everyone. He's so excited! <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. MacronShow.com, bitches. Macron Show. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I Sorry, guess folks. that wasn't. I guess that was. You see what they're doing? They're attacking us. They're attacking us, and this is what. Uh, I mean, that even came up. They're attacking into our phones. It came up that it, it was a legitimate, legitimate number. Call. A legitimate. I know the numbers coming from from. <laughs> I definitely know Donald Trump's phone number, and that was definitely it. I definitely don't know. I definitely don't not know Donald Trump's phone number. We're clearly close friends. <laughs> Tapping into the calls. Just admit you didn't recognize the number because you don't have Donald Trump's personal phone number. It's fine. What a loser. God suffering. You're in charge. I'm telling you. What God's looking for are people under this tent. People online. That he wants to put in charge of some stuff. There's no reason the church of the living God and the kingdom of Jesus Christ should not rule this nation. The First Amendment would probably beg to differ. The Bible says that the kingdom of God suffereth violence. And those that truly follow Jesus Christ take it by force. You're in charge. Lovely. I, I, I prayed about it, and I'll tell you, what God said to me was, was kind of shocking. Not really, but... You know, when I prayed about if we'd ever see President Trump uh, as our president again, God just reminded me that he's the one that chooses the leadership, not us. He allows certain things to happen, but he also responds to the prayers of the righteous. And what he was telling me is, is that just like David, and I think I said this in a past uh, live stream, but just like David, President Trump has the mantle of leadership, has the anointing of leadership. So... Yet, Biden is the president. Weird how that works, huh? Guess God doesn't have federal power, just sort of esoteric spirit powers. You know what? Fine. Donald Trump can be the spirit president. Joe Biden just gets to be the real one. That's why it's, it's kind of confusing to saints that are looking and, you know, they're, they're wondering what's going on because they see Joe Biden and they're like, this guy doesn't seem like he's you know, authentic, like he's real. Is he really the president? Is he really? Yes. And I said, God, why are so many people questioning 
if Joe Biden is the president, I mean, clearly, this, you know, clearly this guy is, is president of the United States. I mean, are we are we to doubt that? Are we not to believe that? And God said it's about the mantle, the mantle of anointing, which is on President Trump. How does that work practically? Last time I checked, that's not in the Constitution, so. Yesterday, it equated curse. Mike came out yesterday, it equated curse words to pornography. Dude, you lost me, bro. Yeah, Mike Lindell's new social media site, Frank Speech, for those who don't know, Mike Lindell being the My Pillow guy that we watched a little earlier. Um, his new social media platform, which Peter, of Peter's political perspective, is going to be on. Um, I'm sure we'll check it out as long as that platform exists. I give it six months, but who knows? Um, uh, they've banned swear words and taking the Lord's name in vain and pornography. So all of those things will get you banned from their ultimate free speech platform. I don't know what your agenda was. I don't know what you were trying to attract. But the second you said it, we were, weren't, you called it a free speech platform and then you said that you're not going to allow curse words because you equated them to pornography. You fucking lost me. Enjoy your dorky ass social media platform, bro. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Fucking nerds will hang out there talking. <laughs> We're not going to curse. We're going to be kind to one another and share the news. No, that sounds fucking gay. No one's going to use it. Enjoy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate to be the one to tell you guys. I don't give a shit. I spread this shit around equally. When I read that, I was like, oh, okay. So you're going to alienate me because I'm not the uh, fucking prototypical conservative. So I'm a little rough around the edges, and I use fucking language that's colorful, and so I don't belong inside of your little club now. Yeah, surely that's how to fucking win over the middle, bud. <clears throat> right? Surely that's how you win over the middle. Someone just said, I don't need to curse. Yeah, bitch, but I like to curse. What now? I know I can make a point without fucking cursing. I'm fully aware of it. But you can also suck my dick and lick my balls. <laughs> Will Smith don't got a curse in his songs to sell records but i do so fuck him and fuck you too and that vibe <laughs> president cop accidentally discharged her weapon you know to me all these right wingers who've used the uh oh gosh which shooting was this how sad is it that i have to say that the Dante Wright shooting uh, was shot by a female police officer. Right-wingers are using this as an excuse to say women shouldn't be allowed to be police officers, which is funny because they haven't said anything to that effect any of the times that, like, white dudes have shot people, but... me, it uh, indicates that... Instead of blaming all white people in society for the actions of this cop, we should look very seriously at female police officers about their conduct, about their ability to do. What about the fact that the majority of police shootings are done by male officers? Are we going to talk about that or do the job? Because we see a lot of female police officers anywhere you go now. There are a lot of these Karen cops wearing the masks, going around badgering people for not wearing masks, getting their Karen energy out through being police officers. And we should have a real <laughs> conversation about whether or not females are able to do the job of being a police officer yeah the conversation has to exist on whether or not anybody should be a police officer i mean i think that we should go back to the times of if you're qualified there should be a certain warrior element to your psyche no that's the problem you idiots uh you should be an alpha uh type personality and so <laughs> oh, no. somebody who's not scared of blood gore violence or confrontation this female the problem, you see, is that cops aren't violent enough. Okay. Married to a white man, by the way. Yeah. All of these people are shaming us for our racist, uh, inherent racism and everything. Yet they're the ones living in the all-white neighborhoods and, and marrying the all-white men. And what? I live in a very mixed neighborhood of all different races. What are you talking about? And they right. are subservient I mean, to white people. The people that are saying how uh, well, we, we're, we're owed reparations because we've been victims of slavery and oppression for so long. Well, then, Don Lamon, why are you still a yes man that refuses to leave the plantation while you take orders from whitey, rich, entitled white yeah. people over at CNN? Right, exactly. The narcissism, you hit on that. It's, it's, it's at an extreme high. Because we no longer trust faith. We used to trust God or trust faith, but now we trust science. 
So these fake scientists that are paraded around like Anthony Fauci, you know. <laughs> Isn't he like a virologist? I'm pretty sure he's qualified. Hold on. Let me take a look. I know he was appointed by like Reagan or something, which I'm not a fan of, but. Uh, Dr. Fauci. American physician scientist and immunologist, director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, and the chief medical advisor to the president. Yeah, he's a real, real doctor. A five foot four Anthony Fauci. He is our. Why does his height have anything to do with it? What? Our new god. If you've not. I don't let a doctor operate on me unless they're six foot two or taller. Okay. I don't want any betas cutting into me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Notice. And people parroting it over and over again, random people on the street I've polled and they just say insistently, trust science. I trust science. I trust science. Like it's a cult. It really is a cult. And Fauci is their new cult leader. Fauci is their new God. And the science is their new gospel. It's really, it's really maniacal, but it's unbelievable how well they've gotten away with it in just a year's time. They've eroded any more logical thinking. They've eroded com Ah, yes, the very logical position of not trusting doctors during a pandemic. Common sense, throwing it out the window. The word that you said, cult. Whenever I hear yeah. the word cult, for some reason, my brain, uh, it, I automatically picture Waco, Texas. I automatically picture David Koresh. I automatically picture the way that that ended with the FBI and the fire and all of these people that worshipped him dying uh, and, and realizing in the aftermath that this was just... A, a fake dude, nothing to believe in. We all paid the ultimate price. We lost our loved ones because they fell victim to this lie of David Koresh. The same thing is gonna happen with all of you cultist members that believe in Anthony Fauci and all of the criminal lies that support his enrichment and the power and subservience, the control and the installation of communism and totalitarianism in the United States. And that's fact. Jesus Christ, the right is so embarrassing. Well, 1917, that's what controls America today. That spirit right there is what is destroying the United States of America, destroying our freedom, destroying our culture. That spirit right there, that's what's making war against Russia. They overthrew it. They got free. They got out from under its bondage. And so who's under its bondage now? The American people. Right. We're under the bondage of that same satanic spirit. Who attacks us? Who's always attacking us? Zionists. The Zionists. Ooh. There's nobody else attacking me. Zionists. That's not every Jewish person. It's the Zionists. It's Fucking yikes. That are as low as South Sudan's because the parents that Donald Trump with 100% accuracy, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, lest I get shadow banned or my page is completely taken away, has won single handedly the presidency of the United States of America in the biggest landslide victory in the history of this nation. I'm telling you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not worried. I'm not fretting. I don't have basketball-sized ulcers. I'm not going to lose one second sleep over any of it. Joe Biden didn't win. He's not the president. He will never be the president. And come January the 20th, I'm telling you, I'll be wing, bing, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm telling <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Okay, that's enough right-wing cope for the day.